right, are we ready? I'm gonna go through the steps with you for my new folks. If you wanna try it out, that's fine. But just know that you're gonna to have to take it apart prior to leaving this class. We're building something that looks like this. With the exception of this right here. So let's go for it. Step one is I'm going to take these two short rails. I know that they're the short rails because they have rectangles on the end. They don't look like this C channel. Notice the C channel does not have rectangles on the end. But I'm going to take these two rails or short rails and I'm going to assemble something the short one uh, okay borrow one from one of the desks next to you and I'll figure out matter of fact just come get this one you got it okay Dusty. Okay, I'm back. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these bearing flats and count down seven spaces one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then place a screw there at the top of that bearing flat. And on the back of the bearing flat, on the other end of the screw, I'm going to twist on a Keps nut. Once it's on, I can take my screwdriver and tighten it up. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm gonna count down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh opening, put my bearing flat there. With the screw and pair that screw with the Keps nut. From here, I wanna use two of the corners to attach two additional bearing flats. The next one that I attach is gonna be in line with that first one. And I'm inserting two screws here and pairing that with a Keps nut. slurping or burping, whichever one, please minimize that. So I've attached my screws and caps nuts and I'm gonna use my screwdriver to tighten those up. You may have to hold a caps nut while you're turning that screw to create a more secure hold. As you're working, feel free to glance up at the screen to compare what you have at your desk with what I have here. The only difference between mine and yours should be that your screws are black and mine's are silver. Okay, I'm gonna take it to the opposite side to attach another bearing flat in line with the one you see here in that bearing flat I'm going to insert two screws I'm going to turn it over and put it on the other side uh-uh 
I'll turn it over. Yeah, put it on that side. Put the bare flats on that side. The black, the black pieces of plastic. All right, so a point of clarity, because I forgot it's not just my students in here. A point of clarity, when I'm saying bearing flat, I'm referring to the black pieces of plastic with three holes in it. Those are bearing flats. And the screw is the screw. The caps nut, caps nuts are those silver things that look like this. And they are always paired with a screw. What other questions do we have? Oh, I see now. I'm going to post the picture over here. y'all have done this before i'm really walking through it so um everyone else who haven't done it can get like a step-by-step -step preview if you know the next step just proceed and then a little bit uh i say halfway through the class we'll break and talk about motion okay so to complete my sprint 2.3 I have to attach two additional bearing flats. One here. And another on the opposite side. The next step is to take this C channel. I know it's a C channel because it's one of the few three-sided pieces of metal that we see in this classroom. Well, I'll take this C channel and turn it on its side. What I want to do is connect it to form this U shape that you see here. The way I'm going to do it is by first choosing a side and secondly, um, unscrewing one side that middle screw in your bearing flat. That didn't have a thing on it. You're gonna remove that screw, then line up the C-channel with that short rail. So the same hole that I just took the screw out of, same hole that I just took this screw out of, I'm gonna line it up with the end of the C-channel and then replace that screw. When I do that, I like to stand it up so that I can have a better angle with getting the caps nut on. I'm gonna pair this screw with a caps nut in order to secure this corner. Let's 
spacer. Now I have this L shape. From here, I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. I'm gonna remove that middle screw. Then line the middle screw hole up with the end of the C channel. And replace that screw to secure the corner by pairing that screw with a kept snut. Again, I'm turning mine on its side so I can get a better angle to attach this caps nut. secure that corner you should have a shape that looks like this from here we're going to go back to sprint 2.2 2.2 uses the long rail in sprint 2.2 I see that the bearing flats are placed two spaces down from the rectangle so here's the rectangle I'm going to count one, two spaces and then place my bearing clip with two screws only on the outside openings. Then pair those screws with kept nuts. Yes, with the long rail, yes. On the opposite side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Count one, two spaces away from the rectangle and then place my bearing flat and pair those screws with kept nuts. Sprint 2.2 done. I can connect Sprint 2.2 to this three sided shape that I have here. The way I'm going to connect it is by lining up the end rectangles on this shape with the middle screw holes on Sprint 2.2. So I see here are the middle screw holes here. I'm going to place it on top line up those rectangles with that screw hole in the middle and it should perfectly fit so that you can insert two screws there i'm going to do one side at a time by pairing this side with the caps nut and tightening up that screw Same thing in the opposite corner. Insert the screw and pair with the cap set.
need to turn your 2.3 rails on their sides like this. So sit it on your desk. Take those off. Take the two rails off. Keep the C channel on its side like you have it. But you're gonna turn your rails down to where you see those bearing flats on the top. Okay, what's next? The plate. So you can take those bearing flats off of there. For the plate, I'm gonna insert it from the bottom and push it into the C channel, then lift it up. As you can see, it slides left and right. I wanna slide it until it is in the center. Then once it's in the center, take a bearing flat and secure it to that frame with three screws. Finish that base, it should look just like this. 